Hi everyone, if you're watching this part, it might be that replay. If you do not see the little live up in the corner, you were catching this on a replay. But that is okay, hashtag replay. Let me know you've watched, say hi when you get here. If you have any questions. Welcome to crafting with me. Ooh. I'm so cold. It's just freezing right now. Let me get my comments up. Do you have any questions? Okay, I think we're up. If you hear anything in the background, that's my dog chewing her bone. So, <laughs> hi Deborah. There's always background noises on my lives. It's just the way I am. It's just who I am. All right. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Donna. Hi, Lorraine. Luke's doing better today. He's not 100%, but he's doing better. Not as bad as he was. Thank the Lord. I feel... Ugh. I don't feel sick, but I'm just so tired, unmotivated. Uh, hi, Judy. Hi, Pam. Mm. All right, so what we're going to do tonight, something just extremely odd, but sometimes we need those kind of crafts in our lives. Also, it's we're going to recycle. Hi, Lynn. How, you, how are you, Judy? How are your craft cottage? Uh, Lorraine, Dean's fine. He's working again. He's fine. So we are going to take this jug it is from a tropicana orange juice and we are gonna make this into a cute little farmhouse cow jug so um let's paint this part first because i don't i'm not in the mood to get real crazy yet hi stacy's creations how are you guys so this has like the tropicana it's like indented so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to cover it because I don't want it to say Tropicana, but I'm going to paint this with the color ink first. Oh, This is just the ink chalk paint by Waverly. Hi Rhonda, hi Pam. We'll give that a quick dry. Oh, hi, Diane girl. How are you? Hope everyone's having a good day. It's so cold here. We were getting snow and then it like stopped. We were supposed to get more snow, but it doesn't look like it's coming our, our way. Um, hi, Terry. That's okay. We're just getting started. Judy, Luke's doing better. He's not 100%. So is a bad cough. But, thank you, Robin. No, I didn't get my glasses yet. I'm going to try to go tomorrow. I'm just going to leave it closed. Look, you should... <laughs> Still says Tropicana. Um, oh, hi, Tracy. We're doing, we're doing a thrift, or not a thrift. We're doing a trash to treasure kind of craft. So I'm just painting my Tropicana lid. I'm only going to do one coat. And then I'm going to, we're going to do some cinnamon and Mod Podging. Uh, well, that's like barely any left of that. Oh, barely any left of this. Goodness gracious. I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge down. Um, and then we're going to sprinkle cinnamon on this. Because I'm hoping that the, the cinnamon will cover all the Tropicana sign, the Tropicana indent on my lid. All right, 
here we go. Let's try it. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Amy Jo. How are you? Hi, Haley. Here we go. I'm just going to go all over it, make it real rustic. Use my fingers to get it all in there. Oh, good. You eh, kind of can Hello. How are you? What do you need? <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Happy Tuesday to you. We're going to, uh, I'm going to top, put some more Mod Podge on top, and then I think I'm going to add even some more cinnamon. Yeah, that is not what I want. I'm going to add some other color, some truffle chalk paint to this too. I'm kind of pouncing it on. I'm going to add some more. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let this sit now. That looks a hot mess. That's, <laughs> we'll be all right. Hi, Lori. You didn't get notification? Really, Shauna? Facebook is wonky. Hi, Peggy. Facebook just is wonky. All right. Now, what we're going to do is take some of our ivory, and we're going to paint our jug. We're going to probably have to do two coats. But again, this is an orange juice container. I love repurposing things, you guys, especially whenever they have like the shape that I, that I'm looking for. And it's, you know, it's technically, I mean, you pay for your orange juice, but instead of throwing it away, you can repurpose it, make it into a craft, make it into some home decor. You know what I mean? I do plan on making some rust spots also on this jug, like on the handle. Definitely need to do two coats on this though. Um, oh, Rob, I'm so sorry for your loss. Hi, Angie. Hi, Margaret. But I love the shape of this uh, orange juice bottle. I just really liked it. You can get it right over at Walmart. Have some nice orange juice and then craft with it. Of course, I just removed the stickers. They came off pretty flawlessly with a little bit of heat. But I haven't done a good like recycled craft in a while, so I thought let's do it tonight. All right, I will dry it. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Hello, Lori. All right, we're going to give this a dry, and then we're going to go with two coats. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Rosebrook Cottage. How are you? Thank you, Jerry. Um, oh, that's okay. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Roberta. We're making a, we're repurposing an orange juice jar. This is plastic. We're recycling tonight. Let's 
Anyone have any plans for Valentine's Day tomorrow? I don't. <laughs> no snow for you. Vicky, he's doing good. Thank you for, ask, for asking. Um, yes, the, I love, I love taking things and making them over. Especially whenever you make something and someone's like, where, where did you get that? And you're like, oh, it was an orange, orange juice container. It was plastic. You know what I mean? Um, oh, how nice. Made Valentine's and took them to church. Oh, how nice is that, Luana? Hi, Kathy. Oh, Judy, what a, what a hubby. That's awesome. Making cookies. How nice, Donna. I love getting roses. I love getting flowers of any sort. I remember the one Valentine's Day, Dan sent me a dozen roses to work. It was the cutest thing. Only I worked at a hospital. And sometimes, you know, there's vases that are left from, you know, patients that don't take their flowers with them or anything like that. So I'm like searching the, the hospital for a vase. Couldn't find one. So I had to use a 24-hour urine container, specimen container. It was probably about this size. And I put my roses in there. I didn't even care. And they had to have water. I was there for 12 hours. I had to have water in them. Okay, so this is ivory. I'm gonna, you know, you can use plaster, you know, like white, but ivory just has that off, that off white color that's not, you know what I mean? It's not too bright. Plus I'm gonna distress and make this my style. All right, we get two coats. I'm gonna go around the top again. Um, hi, Renee. Hi, Mary Lou. Thank you guys for joining. How are you all? Oh, I was blessed today. I'm gonna tell you something. So, my dad knew that Luke wasn't feeling well, so he's been, you know, checking up on him. And I said, you know, he's been good. He hasn't had a fever. I think he's at the tail end of it. And he, like, texts me. He's like, can I come over and see Luke to see how he's doing? I was like, yeah, of course. So he did. He surprised Luke, and it made his whole day. And then, of course, the kids were happy to see him, too. So I had out. I was going to do some chicken and some egg noodles and just try to whip something up real quick for dinner. And he bought his dinner instead of uh, me having to cook. So that made my whole day. <laughs> um, Tammy, just going to be a dust collector. <laughs> Truly. We're just making it over for like a decor piece on a shelf or somewhere in a kitchen. You could put some flowers in it, but the hole's a little small. I'm just making it over. And it, to me, it kind of reminds me of milk, like a milk jug. So we're going to make it into like a moo cow kind of farmhouse craft. Do you trust the process? I don't think, I, you, sometimes you shouldn't. Oh, where did you come from? I didn't even hear you come down the steps. This is, this is the um, orange juice, the, the, the plastic orange juice container. I'm going to make it into a farmhouse craft. Hello, Linda. Oh, you're fat. You're t tomorrow's Ash Wednesday. Everyone say hi, Logan. Um, Would you uh, not paint that? Wait, tomorrow? Oh, is it okay? Is it, it's the start of Lent tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow? I'm not Catholic. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Tomorrow is February 14th, Valentine's Day, yes. Uh, 
So are you making me a Valentine's Day card that says you love your mother? Hi, Kay. Okay, it is tomorrow. Okay. I'm wow. I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom, too, because it's it's kind of a mess. Oh, it's, it's, it's Ash Wednesday tomorrow. Oh, baby? I didn't hear you. Can I do a craft? What are you doing? Yeah. It's I like that one. Oh, it's a yellow right here. I don't have... You would have dropped that on me. I don't really have that kind of color green, I don't think, but... I can make some colors. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. Okay, two coats. Let me just kind of fix up the bottom a little. You fed the dog, right? Yeah, it was a while ago, though. That's fine, that's her dinner. Sorry. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Can I get a little cup to uh, mix stuff in? I don't have one. Can I use this? Sure. What do you use this for? Cinnamon. Oh, it has cinnamon in it. Oh, oh speaking of cinnamon, I think I spilled some right over here. All right. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do now. So I did the two coats. We're gonna let that sit. This was our lid that I put uh, some other cinnamon on. I am going to actually distress it a little bit more using my Antique Waverly Wax. Um, I like to do that. I did tell you it was full of cinnamon. Yes, I did. Thanks, Haley. Hi, Denise. Would someone say to me? Because I know. Well, Logan be your Valentine. Oh, yeah, Sheila, he should be my Valentine's. Logan? Yeah. Am I your Valentine? I don't know. Or do you have a girlfriend? No. Okay. Can I use one of these? Use one of one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. When did you get so crafty? Pain the... M2 fry grenade. So I know that looks a hot mess, but just trust my process. That's that's the lid of this. Keep on crafting. Thank you, sir. We I just didn't want to be able to see it has a Tropicana sign on it. But it doesn't. You can't see it. Alright, so we'll put the lid back on. Is that yeah. It wasn't completely dry. Uh, oh, you know what? L Libby, it's not silly at all. This is just the brand by Waverly. See where it says wax? It's the Waverly wax and the color antique. And it's just kind of like a stain, truly. It's very thin, watered down. Ah, uh, it's crazy. Hi, Irene. Deb, we're just remaking an orange juice container. It's plastic. Look at this. I should have sealed that part with the Mod Podge. I'll fix it. I feel like I need a little cinnamon there, too. Oh, well, we'll get to it. All right. Uh, I think I might want it in like facing this direction. So, uh, what should my next step be? I will seal this in too, but I'm going to go down. And I'm going to start taking my Waverly Wax in the color Antique and just kind of distressing the whole thing. Originally, I was going to put a calendar print on this. But I found something else. Maybe I want to put it this way. Yeah, I'm going to put it facing this way. It really doesn't matter personal preference. Uh, 
I'm just going to go down the whole thing. This is going to give it texture. too heavy there but it does look like the lid looks like a turtle shell I want it a little darker I don't want it looking perfect either okay I do need to add some more cinnamon real quick I'm actually gonna just kind of let it go where it wants to go too accidentally goes down on this part no big deal I don't want to be able to open it anyways I'm just gonna let the cinnamon fly I prefer greater value <laughs> cinnamon over the Dollar Trees Truly, it does make a difference. You could clearly see the greater value one is a little darker. It's messy. That's what I want. put some on my spout too or not my spout my handle I'm thinking about my tea see I'm just trying to make it look rusty dirty make a mess and say you know I meant to do that I go on this side too, little spots. So I'm gonna blend in here. My comment stopped. Shoot. Does it smell like cinnamon? Yep. Smells like Christmas. Smells like Christmas? You want me to start singing Christmas carols? Because I will. I do like 300 more days. I love Christmas. Alright. I know you like the uh, weather of Christmas. I hate, I hate the weather of Christmas. Why? Because I hate snow. Yeah. Alright, let me let this dry. I'm starting to be more of a summer person myself as well. Really, Logan? No. All right. Let me give this a quick little dry off, and then I'm gonna add then some more distressing. So like like kind of helps it blend in. I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look good. No, it doesn't at first. It doesn't. Yes, that's right. So we could be in his trench. <laughs> right, bud? What? So you could be in your trench. Yep. You hear him? Yep. I have a feeling it's that, that trench is probably going to have a lot of uh, different things happen to it this 
summer. Where would you expand it to, buddy? Take over the entire yard. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do now is these little cute things, they're from the Dollar General. They're, they're out right now. Um, this one obviously has the little cow, the cow on there. It says moo. We're going to add this to our little jar. And all I did was just removed it from this frame. And it, it popped out really easily. And then the uh, I wanted to leave that chicken wire looking stuff on it too. So I am just going to take a little bit of my Waverly Wax and kind of distress the, the little cow on here. Just so it kind of all matches and blends together. And we'll just place that right in the front. Um, I can't wait. I got a new car. That's wonderful. That's what we're looking into getting. We've been wanting a new car for a while. Okay. So what I'm going to do is try to do this as simple as possible. So this uh, cow is stapled and I'm going to glue it first directly onto my little plastic jug. Hopefully it will start to stick in a minute. If not, then I might have to try something else. But Oh, how cool, Debbie. Uh, Tammy, he's making... What are you making? Uh, something that's not working. <laughs> Welcome to my world, buddy. Welcome to the world of crafters. He's uh, painting something. Do you know a certain... Paint all drab? This is not sticking, guys. Mom. What, bud? I don't even know what you're saying. Olive drab. Olive, olive drab? Drab. No, I don't know what you mean. Is that a color? Yeah. Olive drab. No, buddy, I don't have that. Okay, it just, no, we're not sticking at all. Well, that really puts a damper in my day. But you see what I'm going for, right? Double-sided tape, E6000. Yeah, but there's no reason. It's my glue sticks. Alright. I have an idea. I'm not going to let it... I'm not going to let it get to me. What slipper? Can you give her her slipper? What, is she eating a slipper right now? Yeah. Uh, I have never gave her a slipper. It's like brown. Kind of looks like a boot. Logan, don't do that to me. Hold on. Sorry I'm rooting around in here. I know that's rude, but I have to find what I'm looking for. Mounting tape. I have E6000, but I don't have anything that's like a... Super glue. I'm all out of it. I might take I'm gonna take some push pins. And I'll use my my E6000 too. What's your E6000? Super glue. Super glue. Why is it super? Because it's super. Why? Oh look, it's sticking now. You know, I can't with this. Right, let me see if this this is going to work here for a minute. 
Oh, it does, and it looks cute. Okay, so I'm going to take some of these little push pins. They're from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to push pin them right into the plastic to hold down. Look. To hold down the chicken wire. And it just adds a little something something. Doesn't it? I need two more. Um, put twine in that, that, Tammy, that's a good idea. I was thinking of that to do the twine business, but the push pin's working. I right, just, please pray that I have two more. I do. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Put all my malarkey away here. I'm going to trim this just a ton of bit. Oh, I just bent that. Oh, Deborah, good night. Roxanne, oh, uh, she. I'm about. I'm probably due to have another auction soon because I'm starting to get full again. <laughs> oh, this. Why is this one being difficult to push in? My last auction was January 16th, so usually I have them once a month. So I'm due again. There we go. All right. Good enough. I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of uh, distressing on that. We'll just use some truffle chalk paint. Just to kind of dull down that silver. What happened? Mm, kind of See, moo. Moo. Look. Would would you know this was plastic? Uh, if you were just walking by it? No, you wouldn't. No. So get out of here. <laughs> All right, let me uh Now the only other thing I really wanted to do was make a really pretty bow and use some fabric, some ribbon. Oh, Logan Edward. I do have a... Uh... Yeah, did you find it? No. Oh, you did find it, you little... Okay. It is. It's unbreakable. <laughs> it's plastic. <laughs> all right. So all I use for this is... This is from the dollar... General. It's one of those cute little signs. It says Moo. And this is an orange juice container. I just added that wax, uh, the rusty, crusty look. Okay, now I have all of my ribbon here that I'm going to use. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? I need a messy bow. So. Why am I even questioning what I want to do? So we're going to use, I think we're actually just all going to, we're just going to use um, ribbon tonight. So. Or you know what? I have other. Well, those were the scissors I needed. Hold on, guys. I'm dropping stuff. Um, no, I know, Logan. Mm -hmm. Come here, I need your eyes. I can't see. Neither can I. 
Why? Because. I just dropped my those scissors I'm looking for. I don't have scissors on. Please. If you can find one of the throw with the dirty paintbrushes. Oh yeah, right here. No. There. Hold on, guys. Logan, talk to them. Uh, <laughs> I found them. We're good. Uh, they were so little. I uh, I did add a little bit of Mod Podge on top. I'm gonna go over it again. But usually I add the um the Mod Podge direct, like right after the cinnamon, so it sticks and it's not all flopping off. Okay, I am gonna use some of this fabric. This is from Dollar Tree. Because I want my bow to be full and messy. Because this is a, you know, very simple looking project. We can add some zhuzh to it with a nice full bow. Tanya? Yeah, Jamie, do you see this right now? He's just painting a grenade right now. Why are you doing that? Because it was all rusty. Yeah, but that's what makes it old. And like, authentic. Oh, I already have another one that's all silver. Oh. I will make this one high explosives. Alright, what do you say on Facebook? I don't want to get banned. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to use some of this really pretty uh, ribbon as well. I'm just going to kind of cut it. As you can see, I started to cut it for my, my smaller bows. Oh my gosh. I got the case of the dropsies tonight. I'm my comments. Can you guys comment? I hate Facebook sometimes. Hey, at least he's being creative, you know? I'm going to use some of this. This is like one of my favorite ribbons from Dollar Tree. I'll use some of this. I'm just cutting it to about the same length and then I'll cut them all down to size when I'm done. I think I might want more of this too. Oh, Judy, I love you. Where did you get this? I love it. Hi, Vicki. Okay, I'm seeing. I'm seeing you all. Thank you, Jerry. I don't know what's going on. I'm paused on my screen. Logan's running wild in here tonight. Alrighty then. We'll use some of this. I don't think I need the buffalo check if I have all the other stuff. I don't think I need it. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of cut the ribbon all to the same size. You guys know the deal. I'm going to do four of each different ribbons. This one I'm going to do a little bit more of. I guess I didn't need that, but... <clears throat> Thank you for the stars, Barbara. I missed you and Giselle Mama Llama. Oh, that's okay, girl. You know my replays are always up. If you have questions or anything like that, you ask me. I try to answer. I 
think my bow's going to be nice and bushy. You think? I think. <clears throat> and again, if I don't use all of it, you know I save it, but definitely need more of this ribbon. Dollar Tree will bring this out again. Isn't that just adorable? Why is she flipping? All right. <clears throat> Get our boat dabra now. piece of twine for the center um thank you it is it's so nice i haven't seen it in a while though so dollar tree likes to do that they put something out they put something out we all love it and then it just disappears forever <laughs> all right let's start crisscrossing all this ribbon we cut and fabric Hi, Rose. Yeah. Oh, really, Cindy? Yes. I tell people, grab, grab it when you see it. Especially uh, the Dollar Tree. They just, I swear, it, they, it flies off the shelves and they don't restock it. I think they do that on purpose. All right. Again, I'm trying to go with the same, not the same pattern, but I'm still like kind of alternating as I go. I'm going to crisscross these two, kind of break it all up. Thank you, Kathy. No, Lisa. Hi, Carolyn. Usually, I, you know, there's only a couple Dollar Trees I go to. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll venture out into, you know, kind of further away. So, it's nice I do have that option, but I know some people don't. Some people don't have the option of just, they only have their one Dollar Tree. Oh, but yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be full, and I'm okay with that. All right. We'll end with this. All right. I'm going to tie this up. Ooh. Pull it on out. See, it's all, I like that. I like how it's all, you can see all the different ribbon. And it's bigger. And I wanted that so you can cover, that we can cover this top part. I really, I wanted it nice and full. And I'll um, just trim just a little bit. Okay. 
So save your orange juice containers. You know what I mean? Oh, oh really, Lisa? They always have something, so I buy a case. And yeah, Cindy, that's another. That's a shame. I know the one that was here in my town. They did not become a Dollar Tree Plus till last summer. Um, so don't give up hope completely. But I saw like rumors and stuff that they they were actually starting to make all the dollar items go up to like a dollar fifty or a dollar seventy five. I don't know if that's true or not. But okay, look at that. I love the fullness. I think it looks cute. That's what I wanted. It's real. It, it kind of took over, and I'm okay with that. But um, I'm not done. I want to add some of my my grass coming out of my bow. This is my packaging grass. That's what I'm calling it because I don't know what else it to call. I'll trim it just a tiny bit. I want it sticking out kind of far though. pain to work with but it's worth it if you can get it I want it kind of crazy I was kind of losing its mind. Look at the, the grass. It looks like hay. <laughs> it's like hay, I'm hay. Uh, okay, and I'm going to put my rusty star in the center. All my farmhouse crafts will have a star of some sort. I always put stars on my farmhouse ditties. Especially the rusty ones. Or I make them rusty. It just flipped right up. See what? Ooh, cheap hot glue, you guys. Don't buy it. Just don't do it. It does, Lisa. Crazy, messy, rusty. All right, that looks so cute. I hope you can see the gist of it on camera. I love it. I think it looks really cute. It's different. It's recycled, you know? It's not like a cookie cutter craft. It's literally, uh, this came from my garbage. Someone might think it still looks like garbage, but listen. It's better than garbage. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> um, oh, hold on. Usually my farmhouse ditties, I add some boxwood just to have that little pop of green. Oh, yeah, we have to today. We're going to put this inside the bow as well, kind of right there. <laughs> it's like I'm performing surgery. I was like... There's the spot. Oh, that's cute. We love boxwood here still, right? Crafting with me, we do. Is that the dog? Goodness gracious. There we have it. We're done. Where's the glue strings? 
Dana, I hate glue strings. Where are they? Oh, I see them. Kind of. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we don't need no spider webs here. We're not no doubt. Sorry, I'm not home right now. Walking in the spider web, so leave a message and I'll call you back. All right, guys, that's it. Orange juice container turned into the little farmhouse ditty. It looks extremely extra, but it's cute. Matches all my kitchen stuff, too. All right. I was going to say, too, if, if I didn't have this stuff, I would have used some, um, some raffia. I'm going to put a little bit up at the top. So I was thinking of adding some twine. But I'm going to add just a little bit more of that. All right. I love you guys. <laughs> Dana, sometimes I, you know, I don't mean to be. But I tell everybody, like, this is what you get. If we crafted like so, like we're doing right now. And I was with you in real life. I'd be the same way. That's what I've always told people. This isn't a show. This is my life. This is me. What you see is what you get here. I know someone's out there going, stop. My goodness. Walk away. But if you don't like extra, I'm not one to watch. Okay, guys, we're done. Thank you for joining tonight. I love you all. I really do. Hi, Wynn. It just looks like a completely different jug. Logan, look at this. This was, this was your orange juice. Aren't I fabulous? I think it looks really cute, you guys. All right, my friends, I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Love Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Some twine. You know, I I really want to put twine on this somewhere. I do. Like, even, like, just on this part or, like, around the top part. A part of me wants to, but I'm going to just kind of let it ride. So, yeah, I love you guys. Have an amazing day, evening. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Barb. I tried to make my son call me fabulous. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, see, now it looks better this way. That bow is extra. All right. Good night. Love ya.